Hello, everybody. Welcome to Podcaster Showcase, a monthly live broadcast brought to you by the International Podcast Day team. I am Dave Lee, co-founder of International Podcast Day, and thanks for joining us today. Each month, we showcase podcasters and voices from around the world, and this broadcast is no different. Before we get started, I wanted to let everybody know as a quick reminder to head over to internationalpodcastday.com slash podcaster showcase. I'm going to pop that URL up on our screen right now to check out our previous showcase videos. We have some great uh, previous content over there as we bring you month to month uh, voices from around the world. And... This month, we are going to be welcoming Martin and Karen. You can see them on the screen right now. They are based out of Sweden, and Martin is a creator, a newsletter editor, a new media advisor, and a blogger. He's also been podcasting since 2007, which is incredible. He's got me beat by one full year, which is pretty, pretty incredible to be a part of and have him on the show. Karen is an ICF coach, supervisor, author, blogger, lecturer, special educator, and a podcaster. I'm going to share her website on the screen as well. So Martin has been a longtime supporter of International Podcast Day, and for that, we are truly, truly thankful. So without further ado, I want to bring in Martin and Karen. How are you both doing today, this morning for me, this afternoon for you? Fine, thank you. And you, Martin? Great, great. Thanks for being here. I like to be Absolutely. here. Absolutely. Thanks for the invitation. Yeah, well, Martin, you've, you've, you've been a proud supporter of International Podcast Day for a long time. For our audience right now, I want to share a screen. He has one of the original uh, International Podcast Day t-shirts. And you can't really tell with this photo. Maybe I can scroll down. But it's got an older hashtag on there when it used to be just hashtag podcast day. And uh, it's pretty incredible that you followed us, that you've been supportive of us. And I wanted to make sure we have you showcased. You've been, you've been a, 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 a great talent out there in Sweden. You've worked with a lot of different podcasters and new media. Happy that you've connected Karen as well with the, with the, uh, with the industry and the group here. So it's really great to have you both on. Thank you. So be be before we go ahead and get started and hand it over to, to both of you uh, independently to talk about, I just wanted to have like a brief intro. Martin, if you would just let everybody know in the podcaster showcase realm uh, a little bit more about yourself, your website, uh, what have you been doing in the podcast space? Yeah, as I said, I've been podcasting for, uh, for a long time. I started blogging in 2002 and I started podcasting in 2006. And uh, then I have, uh, I think I've been inspiring maybe around 10 to 20 or something like that individuals, organizations, uh, companies you know, starting podcasting. And uh, Karin is one of them. So that's the short, short version. And I like this. Uh, today I have, uh, I don't know if you see it, but I have another t shirt on me. It's the Messengers and the Indie Podcasters uh, the documentary. And I supported that uh, thing. So I'm very much for, I often say that you all, everyone has a book inside them, but also a podcast. So I'm great to see that you are highlighting the international community here. So that's uh, short for about me. That's that's excellent. And I, I do have one of those Messenger podcast documentary shirts as well. I was able to see the original screening in Florida in 2017. And so it's great to see yep. the reach that podcasting has well. from not only here in the United States, but all the way overseas and to, to everybody in Sweden as well. Well, Karen, what about yourself? I know you've uh, met Martin. He's helped you out with podcasting, but you're also a coach, and uh, there's there's so much more about you. So go ahead and give our audience and our listeners a little bit uh, information about yourself. Oh, thank you, Dave. I'm so thrilled to be here, and I'm so grateful for you, Dave and Martin, to to uh, invite me. And actually, it's it's uh, thanks to you, Martin, because it was about two years, one or two years ago. Uh, um, a colleague and, and I, we started a, a podcast for the ICF Coach Pod in Sweden. And it was, uh, we started to, it's like a little story here. Uh, we started to tell Swedish people about what is coaching really about, professional coaching. So that's wh wh where we started. And then there is a annual, uh, every second year, there is a big convent for coaches and uh, 
2019. It was in Prague. And uh, we had the opportunity to tell about our podcast event. So I was on stage telling about this. In this period, uh, Martin saw that I was uh, podcasting and speaking English. So he invited me to a podcast where I could, uh, it's a podcast he runs uh, called uh, Presentation, Presentation Skills in Plain English. And at that point, uh, Martin said to me, Karen, you have to start your own podcast. You have to. I haven't had the time, but anyway, he was telling me, you have to. And since, since uh, autumn 2020, we started a podcast where he is uh, the host and I'm running this podcast and I love it like the roses here. It's about senses and uh, what is really important in life. And uh, we call it uh, in Swedish, Viktigt på uh, what really matters. And this podcast is growing all the time and we are developing. And it's a thrill to be here to tell you the story, how this, all of it started. Did you yes, get that, Dave? Yes, I did. Yeah, it's great. Thank you for sharing that. <laughs> the little bit of background, a little bit of story there. That's that's so great. And um, I just love to see the collaboration and community that, that you all have, have built up. So um, yeah, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to step out of the way. I'm glad that our audience now knows a little bit more about you. And we've I've titled this Inspirational Podcasting. And um, we actually have Lena Gothberg. She's been part of the International Podcast Day, with she runs the Shipping Podcast, and and uh, yep. happy to have her joining the the audience uh, today as well. So I want to welcome her as well. So Hi, Lena. I'm gonna step. Yeah, I'm gonna step out of the way. I'm gonna turn it over to you. I will be in the background in case you need anything. But uh, I want to welcome both you and, and uh, both of you to the International Podcast Day showcase. Really looking forward to sharing uh, hearing your story that you're gonna share today. Thank you so much. Um, and I can really take the word Thank again you. because I'm so yeah. grateful to Martin who helped me along to get going with this. And uh, he has been the one who told, have been telling me all over and over again that, for instance, the show notes are really important in a podcast, uh, podcast matter. And I would like you to tell a little bit more about that, Martin. Why is the show notes so interesting? Yeah, yeah it, it's similar to like when you're a blogger, like a blog post, when you have important links, what uh, the topic you talk about or the subject or the blog post itself. So show notes uh, is uh, really related to the episode. So people uh, who listens could then afterwards check it out or during when they are listening. So there you have the senses also. You could listen and then you could maybe check out a reference, a link as Dave was doing here. He was sh uh, showcases, uh, showcasing our websites. So that could be when we have guests, uh, you refer or you have a link to the guest website or the blog or social media channels. So that's a good thing to have the show notes. What we have a challenge here is we, we are talking Swinglish. <laughs> We are talking mm -hmm. sometimes English and sometimes uh, Swedish. And you use English words in Sweden, like show notes. And we call yeah. it anteckningar in Swedish. But it, it's uh, it's common to say show notes because it's coming from, uh, you know, uh, the media. In a way, the word podcast is, uh, is funny. Way. In Swedish, it's called podradio. But most, uh, even Swedes, are talking about podcast or pod. And, and that's yes. coming from the broadcast thing. So, yes. So that's one part of uh, podcasting. And, yes. Uh, and, uh, yeah. And Continue there is forward. something more about uh, something more about this show notes that I have been really interested in. What's the benefit yeah. of show mm -hmm. notes and the links, how they work mm -hmm. with a CEO thing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you tell a little bit about yeah. that? Yeah, I could do that. Uh, and uh, for the record, I'm not a search engine optimization uh, expert. I'm more a new media advisor. But I understand how uh, the web is in a way working. So if you create content that is relevant to what you're doing, to the topic, and if you include 
links that are relevant to the topic and the episode, you will be shown in the search results when people are searching for different topics, like Lena Göteberg here, uh, that uh, shamed in and say hi. She is an expert on the maritime industry. She writes relevant uh, things about the industry. She talks with relevant guests on her podcast. She asks relevant questions and gets relevant answers. Like right now, in Suez Canal, uh, it's, uh, it's a ship that is uh, stuck. Yes. And it's having effect on the whole economy. And mm. Lena is one of the people who have focused on this and talking about that, how important shipping podcast is. And we had a podcast meetup when we talked about this thing, how to start a pod, the topic, the show notes, how often should you publish. I'm for the record also struggling with that myself. My uh, latest episode is from two months ago when I was feeling a bit down, you could say, and feeling being tested. But I'm so involved in other podcasts, including yours. So I'm doing yes. podcasting all the time. And for me, it's giving lots of energy, positive things and <laughs> be able to be on this, uh, this is great. So, yeah. So if yeah. you're doing things like the Swiss Canal is rising to the top in a positive way, if you write yeah. uh, and uh, create content that is relevant. So yes. show, show notes is important for that case also. And recently we had a guest, Fatmir Cerimeti, and yes. you know, he had this challenge with uh, sight. So for him, he, he learned and he teaches us how important it is to have relevant things on your website and how to create it in a good way. How you should label them so yeah, they yeah. are, uh, so go Google are uh, able to uh, search for that Find it. Yeah, sp yeah. specific picture and not that when it's yeah. all GPG and lots of no. numbers that yeah. you have to rename them for what it really is, what it's showing. And uh, yes, th this is interesting. And uh, I really like this opportunity with the podcast industry and the podcast itself, which is a more narrow uh, format for speaking, getting to know each other, yeah. hear each other. And it's kind of warm and personal, which is very specific, which is the different from a radio show, for instance. Mm -hmm. You are able to come much closer. And, uh, mm -hmm. and we, I also appreciate the uh, opportunity to have this, I call it marriage with other things. When you mm -hmm. go together with something others, it's like, uh, it's almost organically spreading itself, very natural. And as you told uh, uh, told us about this uh, search engine, I have this undercurrent. I have this feeling that it's out of the big, big, big ocean, where we all can relate to the big ocean. And one of the undercurrents uh, are lying there, and then all of a sudden there is a topic that choop, comes up and mm -hmm. You get to get to know so much more, and the fine thing, uh, the uh, the beauty in this is that it it's not lost. It's it's uh, yep, you, you, it's, it's uh, yeah. It's what do you say? It's, find it. Yeah, it's it's yeah, core. It keeps taking it and uh, to find. Yeah. Yes. It stays. Uh, everything stays on the internet. I mean, good and bad things. But thing also that we are our friends and co-hosts, and we learn. To, I mean, when we are doing like show notes and manuscript and script, so you're getting, you are now a caster, Karin. <laughs> you say. I mean, it's a, like it, it's a you know, job, it's a career. Yeah, it's like a blogger, but you are one of the yes. original bloggers out there. You have done been yes. blogging for a long time and you create your own content on your own hub. And then you could have yes. different satellites spreading as we are doing now. So when you say, yes. It's funny with undercurrent. When you say when narrow cost, maybe it should be called narrow cost, but you're niched. Of course, you could have a broad audience also, like a broadcast. Mm -hmm. But podcast mm -hmm. is a word coming from broadcast and the iPod. And that's why yes. I call my show Ego Net Cost. Um, because it's <laughs> a long story about that. But when you said undercurrent, the a wave coming, 
a philosophical magazine in America called Unknown Current. And recently I had an example. We had a guest on the secular foxhole, Blair and myself. We had a guest last year about that the whole world is not an accident or even if it's bad things going on with, you know, pandemic and others, we have possibilities out there. Mm -hmm. So we shouldn't yes. create the whole uh, surrounding that everything is uh, accidents and uh, extreme cases. It's, uh, we have a natural day also. But he talked about that in a philosophical meaning and had an essay that he talked about from Miss Rand. And then we had the show notes. And then this year he wrote an article on the philosophical website and included the uh, podcast player from our host, Captivate. So now it's included as an extra material to his article. Oh, then. A couple months later. And we, that's Wonderful. priceless in a way. Yeah. And now Wonderful. we have a, yesterday, why did I had a follow up with him? Because that we could do, you could do also after, after some time, you could talk with, with your guest again. I mean, the latest guest, Fatmi, we could have <laughs> talked for, for another hour, I think about his success yes. in in yes. sports and other things like that yes so great and uh, uh, it's and, as, as you said martin everyone has a podcast inside themselves yes. or a book and i've mm -hmm. been writing three books in the coaching field how you can start coaching yeah. yourself and i'm an icf mm -hmm. master certified coach with it, which i'm very proud of and i simply love my work it's a passion and uh, my, uh, my why, why I have this podcast started with you, Martin, is to spread the word about how much you can uh, realize about yourself, how you can develop yourself. And uh, we started in, we had a topic like a little series, like a, uh, yeah. about the senses. Like a season. And yeah. First season. Yes, yep. yes. First season. It was about senses, and uh, I'm, I've studied NLP a lot, and I suppose that Dave have quite uh, knowledge about NLP from California. Maybe I don't know, Dave. Do you know uh, NLP, Nevro Linguistic Programming? Have you heard about that, I Dave? No, it doesn't sound familiar, but if you explain it a little bit, maybe maybe I have. Yeah, well, that's wonderful. If I can tell you something from Sweden here, uh, yeah. because I've heard a lot of, of uh, Anthony Robbins. Tony Robbins is big in NLP. And I've learned and uh, I've been really um, inspired by him and others and uh, deep philosophers like Socrates. And uh, I... I, I picked the best things, I think. I studied uh, coaching and personal development for about 30 years and uh, studying how the brain works in uh, ver very thick books. And I say it's fantastic with these thick books and the, the libraries and everything, but it's kind of useless until we have it in our own uh, back. If it's only in the back of the books, it doesn't really help us. We have to take action. We have to do it. We have to make changes. And here is podcast, a big thing where we can reach out, where we can help each other, not to be scared, not to be so limited, but try and get inspired by each other. So uh, Tony Robbins, uh, he's very much into this NLP, Nevru, the brain, linguistic, the, the language programming, how we feel, how we act, how we think. It's a whole system where we can go in uh, in any, uh, any part of this to start to make small movements, to feel better, to be stronger, to have our goals and make the journey to, towards our goals very nice, if we would like, with health and joy. And that's what I'm working with. I'm also working, I'm working with CEOs and leaders and also with athletes. And uh, in the aspect of athletes, there, there is a uh, kind of, uh, you have to another level where you have to push even more. And so there is a distinction, but it, it is my work and I love it. 
I simply love it. I, I love to see how other people uh, grow and find their thing and just go for it. How does, how does that sound, Dave? That sounds great. And I, I can really appreciate that sort of holistic approach too, and just that well-rounded approach to, um, as you said, with linguistics and using your mind and your body and everything in tandem. And I think that's going to, uh, as, as you get into the podcast space and you relate it to that, it, it does take a lot of uh, a lot of effort and work and a lot of different tools for a lot of different podcasters. It's, mm. you know, that's one of the reasons I, you know, I, I do International Podcast Day with my father is we both have our separate set of tools and skills that we both bring to the table. And I think you can hone those, you can work on them, but utilizing something like um, as, as you as a coach to help with that, you know, for those that are perhaps struggling with one aspect of of uh, their production or their work, whatever, uh, it, it could be motivation, it could be a new understanding of, of an approach, whatever it is. But I, I love that you're able to connect everything that you're learning from that coaching in those, like you said, those really thick books and be able to transfer that to different leaders. And hopefully that can translate into, uh, as, as we've talked about, uh, better and better podcast and just a different approach to things. So that's, that's pretty cool. Thank you for sharing that. Thank you. Uh, I'm glad that uh, my, my Swinglish was going through to you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Martin, please go uh, on. <laughs> Dave, yeah, I would be the devil's advocate here now because now you got me going because we're talking about the mental part. And that's often I started in 2006 without knowing all the technical things. And in a way, that was good. <laughs> Otherwise, maybe it, that had been a struggle because I got help with, uh, with a guy, Prodos, in Australia. That did all the technical things and that's one of my mission to to help uh, individuals organization and businesses to start and and then uh, then you said uh, to having your backpack uh karin mm -hmm. uh, i interviewed ed Filowat that is uh, creating an app called backpack studio and with this app you could record your voice and you could simply put it up there so it's nice with all the equipment and gear uh, and also that long distance what you are now now on stream or uh, that i've used for a long time ringer that you could have guests and it's more complicated for the guests and then also doing the editing i talked to a potential client and she said please help me how to do that but i want to do it myself in the future and i said okay i've tested all kind of tools but all the two with colin uh, gray it's great for me but it took several tools before I founded that. And then, of course, you can have a discussion which is so-called best, but it's out, lots of things out there. So, and it, it's, it was harder. It was a friend here, Web Coast, like a unconference for people who love the media. And in, was it nine years ago or how long is it? Then it was some of the people like the original podcasters back in the day. We had, we met at the conference and our similar interest so we had a session about that and what's uh, it's so nice to see it now again like a uh, memories and how far we have come in a way but you have to have uh, as you dave and others uh, the renegades and others that do a positive thing so uh, again thank you for uh, highlighting the international podcasters out there yeah all 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 voices are important in podcasting and that that includes uh, international voices mm. and from Sweden, we've showcased individuals from from Hong Kong and uh, Africa, just with with podcaster okay. showcase. And you're exactly right, Martin. It's when it, when it comes to podcasting, trying to find that inspiration. Sometimes you need a little bit of help, and sometimes you need somebody mm -hmm. who's more technical in nature to help you, so that you can focus on your material that you want to produce and the material that you want to prepare for. And I think I think too many times a lot of podcasters get sort of wrapped up in like we talked about the seo and the technical side and the website and all that stuff and that's if, if you're not great at that and i'll tell you i'm not that great at doing that stuff i'm, I'm good at broadcasting i'm good at uh planning i'm good at show note writing uh, there are certain things i'm good at that's where i can find my inspiration that's where i can get inspired to do more and more and that kind of keeps me going it's all about finding a partner or someone else to kind of help you with those other things so um yeah, I think you can find a lot of lot of interesting aspects when you are looking at how to keep yourself inspired and moving uh, through through your podcast production. Yeah. 
could you tell a bit that you is how common is that that you do it in a family uh, like family podcast you and your father that's that's fascinating yeah i do know a couple other uh father son uh duos that are out there. I do know there's a lot of brothers and a lot of sisters, uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of couples podcast together. And so it's, 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 cre it's becoming more and more common, which is kind of fun and inspirational mm -hmm. and also, uh, holds you quite a bit accountable too. Cause it's like, you, you always have somebody on the other side, you know, wanting to podcast in case you're not really feeling it and you get inspired that way. So I think it's growing in popularity and it's, it's, it's pretty fun to do. So have, have any of you podcasted with any of your friends, any of your family before? Is it something that maybe gives you a little bit of inspiration, something that you may want to consider in the future? Yeah. Um, I mean, you become friends often with your co-host and others, but I do that with, with friends that I'm new or something. And then you had a topic or interest. Shouldn't we start a podcast? I mean, in, in a positive way, way, that's my drive. But I also, I know with it, but uh, I have many, maybe too many podcasts, but it, I see it also like a project. You could test something out because it takes time before you get to know each other also. So you, you could, I mean, podcasting with your best friend or family uh, and that, can turn out in a good way and then it could also grow with somebody that you don't know so much in the past and then over time so what do you say Corinne? yeah I, uh, we have been really close friends since we started podcasting martin and me and and uh, my daughter has been uh, made the wonderful artwork to the podcast the this apple tree and uh, as i lay out under this apple tree which is right outside my kitchen window I was uh, looking up at the apple tree and this specific apple tree is uh, really the, where everything is going on at the same time. There is bumblebees, there are apples, there are flowers and everything is now. And it, this is my way of uh, uh, how I look at time. We have a now, we have one life. We have something really important to take care of and we could make the most positive thing we, we can about out of all this and uh, so I'm really happy about that and I was looking up in this apple tree and thinking about the generations since we have a pandemic thing now going on and uh, what is it going to be how are we going to uh, uh, reach out to each other and uh, what will we what is really important in life what is uh, uh, what do, what do you what do we have to learn in this situation and what are we uh, doing to our children in schools and so on how are they going to understand what's going on and how can we uh, give them support and comfort since we don't can hug them in this situation and so on really simple things narrow and i have reckoned that uh, uh, all over the world so we want the same thing we want to be together we want to be safe we want to have some someone to to relate to and so on. And uh, I think this is so important to highlight and not just take for granted. So this is my uh, voice of, uh, of my, uh, how I've learned about my um, uh, coaching, coaching uh, stuff, what I'd like to, uh, give to people through my books and um, all the thing I do it actually. So do you recognize this, Martin, what I say? Yes. Yeah, I see. And uh, when I talked to uh, my, my co-host Blair and we talked about a uh, place in Boston called Ford Hall Forum and their slogan is let there be light. And mm -hmm. they have speakers but talking about important things. Uh, over time so uh, yeah i definitely think so and uh, hopefully this uh, session will inspire somebody someone an individual to start a podcast and then they know how to reach out to us and uh, we could continue the conversation because that's what i like also i mean the guest that we had maria uh, lily again of uh, how should we say that in english mer smak uh, more yeah. more taste or tasteful um uh, business net Work. She said, uh, why, why don't test uh, Clubhouse uh, where you could have feedback, you could have questions from the listeners and so on. So we tested that and thought that was fun.
Yes. So you never know, as you said, it could marinate, it could, one thing could lead to another. Mm -hmm. uh, again, as you as a blogger, you have that knowledge, so you know how you could embed the podcast player in a blog post. Yes. And then you could, as Dave was now highlighted, your the artwork, you know, the very great artwork by your daughter. Uh, mm -hmm. So that's one thing. And we have also done the jingle. We have to talk about jingle, Jim. You know, the signature of your life. But all of these things, I have ideas and I've tested. But when I started, I didn't know uh, all of these things. And, oh. and you could trust, you could try. So, mm -hmm. but the, the, the jingle, for example, is so great and it's so positive. Yes, uh, uh, that's like nice. Si signature for your life. Yeah. yeah and. Uh, this, it was a story itself, uh, as I talked to, I, I uh, christened him to Jingle Jim because his mm -hmm. name is Jim and he, <laughs> we, we had really a nice chat. I was out walking around with, really with a happy, happy walk in, it was windy and it was sun and it was a really nice day and I had so much energy and I think he heard that in my voice. Uh, and I told him about so many things about what I would like that the jingle should uh, attract. And he made this. He he got what I meant. So it's a happy song mm -hmm. uh, starting our, broad, uh, our podcast. And I'd like to add that our podcast, the, the uh, What Really Matters, Viktit Puriktit, it really started in this big feeling of how could mm -hmm. we contrib contribute in this uh, time of it, um, uh, Corona, and we, yeah, it was sometimes. dark, it was Sweden, it was autumn. Gloomy. And yeah. I, I had no time for this. And Martin said, Karen, you must, Karen, come on. Karen, you have to come on, come on, come on. And he succeeded, so we started. And now we proceed to develop our podcast with a, a different theme. I like themes. So it's developing and mm. probably we are going to I'll just show you my first book, my second book yeah. and my third book. Maybe these will be topics in my podcast uh, head. And uh, mm. I, think so. I have uh, I have made clothes of my covers and such things. So I like this when it's uh, developing in different ways. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's like coming How back to, this... you know, the, the water and the waves and so on. Yeah. What is that? This, when it's organically uh, searching for each other to find someone who is interested in listening more about what is this? What, what it is? What, what's the content here? How does this sound to you, Dave? It sounds great. I think one of the biggest things to take away that you're you're mentioning where you're talking about your books and talking about potentially making those into episodes for your podcast, I love to see that because I think one of the big things that a lot of people can find inspiration in podcasting from is that what you record and what you put out there online, you can you can repurpose a lot of that. And so what you're doing with your book, you can create, whether it's chapter by chapter, whether it's topic by topic, story by story, whatever you're sharing, is that you can take that and create a full episode out of it. And then that can create more conversation. It can create an opportunity to maybe inspire somebody, whether it's in the podcast space or not, but it's somebody, yeah, it's like this give and take, right? This back and forth here. So it's just, just because you've written a book, doesn't mean it should stay in book form and no. you, it can it can go into audio form it can go into a, to a blog post it can go you can do a you can do a read and record that video and put it on YouTube there's so many ways you can repurpose and the really great part about that is depending on where you're putting your your material your recordings mm -hmm. your podcast whatever it is you're going to reach a different audience. And so the reach is going to be exponential. So you're not going to simply reach just your audience on Instagram or just your audience through your newsletter. You're going to be able to inspire and maybe create something um, from, from an individual that you didn't think you'd be able to reach. So that's the one, that's the first thing I think of when you talk about books. Also, Martin, when you, when you have like uh, your, your blogs, you can repurpose those into your episodes, vice versa. And so I, I think there's a lot mm. of, 
a, a lot of different inspiration that you can find from different means of media that you have. That's really yeah. inspiring to hear. Yes, yeah. take it, Martin. Yeah, great, great uh, inspiration. Yeah, and thanks for your Q and in here and tying in in a great. Uh, and that's one of your skills, Corin. How when you're moderating in different ways. So, Dave, I have a technical tool question, and this is also. I'm glad that I didn't know about it when I started it out. But now, when we have different guests and, and how you take in the content, transcribes and transcription uh, to find something that are affordable and uh, and uh, accurate. Have you seen any trends about that? I have tested all kind of different ones, but then it's uh, end of the day. Who will pay for if you're doing this service? You, the listeners, or a sponsor? Uh, and it's also we talked about search engine optimization, but also how should you do this? Uh, should you take it directly word for word or should you do a summary? It's all this when you almost like a can of worms. And when I inspire people to start with podcasts, I don't talk about this directly if it's not a specific question, because then you could get overload. But that's a question for you, Dave. Have you uh, looked into that uh, transcription and transcribe? Uh, services for podcasters. Yeah, transcription is definitely one of those tools and resources that has come online quite heavy within the last couple of years. It's it's understanding that it's mm -hmm. just not an audio experience. It's 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 more than that. It's it's for those that have that that are hard of hearing that have some hearing loss that that are able to read through and uh, have that transcription available to them. I know there's a number of podcasters out there and a number of services that are used. I can put you in touch with with uh, some individuals online that I've reached out to and they've they have been looking for different transcription services. Mm -hmm. I do know that it's a great tool and it's a great service and in doing mm. so you're reaching a, a different audience and you're reaching and you're expanding your, the reach of your audience and so I it's it's definitely a tool a resource uh, a skill that's coming on board a lot of podcasters are understanding the importance of it and I think that's why either they are paying for it themselves or finding a sponsor like you had mentioned Martin but it's just another it's another outlet and it's and it's it's a responsible thing to do mm. to have that available through your website and I know that not all podcasters do it I think it's a great tool to have out there something you can have on your website because you're right your your show notes are only going to tell you so much about your show and if if you have uh, difficulties hearing you're not going to be able to listen to it so i think the transcription is going to be uh, a, a a key to moving forward and really expanding that audience and and uh so yeah i can put you in touch with a few people that i've know have tried different services but i definitely think it's something that mm -hmm. uh, podcasters Thanks. and media should should start paying a little bit more attention to really good mm -hmm. and uh Great. Uh, I'm very into this, that uh, everyone should have the opportunity to take part of these things. You name it, where, whatever you, your senses and so on. Uh, it should be for everyone. And uh, the public thing and the democratic thinking of everyone should have uh, access to their lives. And I, I'm so thrilled if I could show you something, Dave, that is really a little bit different. Uh, uh, about my books and to the audience, of course, but it's like I'm talking to you right now. Uh, this is the coach. My my head book is the coach. Here are the questions. And then I have the notebooks. And the people said, oh, Karen, you have to think about that. The guys, they don't like your bright colors and you have to have something sober gray. <laughs> So they have the opportunity to choose about from these. And in this book, the professor book lives. And it looks like this. Here's the professor. And it's the reader. And then it's where this thing comes in. Ta-da! And this is the pen. This is the odd thing. You have to write down da -da -da -da, what you have inside your forehead because otherwise it will stay inside your forehead. And the, the thing I to told you about before, the interacting about language, feelings, that we are not really aware of. But when you write it down, you can see, oh, I say this, how does this affect me? And then you can start coaching yourself. So this is my first book. Uh, and then it's going on in, this, in that way. 
So I was it's like thinking so on paper. Yeah. Pardon, what did you say, <laughs> Mark? Yeah, but your, uh, your pink pen, and that's funny, uh, Dave. Here is my um, uh, example of my <laughs> almost addicted to podcasting. So we have a podcast called Pen Meets Paper in English for international editions, but in Swedish called Penna Met the Papper. And that started out because I have a podcast uh, with you and Gustafsson about tea and how to be productive called Produktivitet. And that's a made up Swedish word, but how to be produ productivity and tea. The word in, in Swedish is, is tea. So it's made up a fun word. And then uh, Johan found on Facebook a, a guy called Johan Gudmundsson. That is really great on, on uh, pen and uh, uh, fountain pens and so on. So we started a podcast called Pen Meets Paper. And I, I am the newbie uh, w when it comes to fountain pens and so on. But I like uh, other kind of pens and we have learned to like fountain pens. So it's very niched. But we have, of course, got inspired by American podcasters out there that have a pen and paper podcast and stationary podcast. But the thing is, I'm a new media ad advisor talking about new media, but I have a podcast also when you do it in an analog way. So what do you think about that, David? That's that's Dave. fascinating. This is the first time I've heard of pen and paper podcasts. It's yes. and again, it's it's incredible yeah. that, you know, you can you can be tapped into so many different uh, genres and different niches with podcasting. And, and I think it's incredible. And I think, uh, Karen, you had mentioned uh, coaching yourself. And I actually had never, now that you say it, that term makes a lot of sense because that's exactly what journaling is. That's what, when you put pen to paper and you start writing your thoughts out, you are, you're, you're taking your guidance and inspiration from whoever your coach is or whoever your mentor is, but you, now you're coaching yourself. And I've never really thought of it in that respect. Oh. And so whether it's pen and paper, whether you're typing, uh, Excellent. you know, keyboard to, to to Word document, whatever it is, you're coaching yourself, and I love that. And mm -hmm. and Martin, you're. I think it's incredible. Yeah, you mentioned being a new media advisor, where now you're part of a new community, and I can imagine that that is that in itself has a bit of inspiration, a little bit of a, a tug right there to kind of uh, push yep. you in a new direction, which I think kind of as as you both have talked about, kind of puts you outside of your comfort zone and makes you a little bit more creative. Yeah, it does a little bit more. Yeah. No, that's pretty incredible. Pen and paper podcast. It's fun. Often, often and I mean, into that. Yeah, and we it's, have some international editions there when we talk in English. Yeah. Yeah, Corinne, yeah, tell, tell about how you listen to podcasts. <laughs> oh, I love listening to podcasts. When I cook or when I'm out running or when I'm out walking in the woods. And uh, I I listen so carefully. So um, Martin, he, he usually be almost embarrassed because I can tell him exactly <laughs> where I put my feet when I heard that particular thing, and he can he can make the, <laughs> we can say oh it was twenty six thirty in into the show where where you said this uh, because I I have this mm -hmm. very specific memory. Uh, and I really listen carefully and it's part of my job, of course, and uh, I listen to other people, what they say and what they mean and so on. Uh, but I really love to uh, listen carefully on other podcasts. So uh, this is this has been really Thanks great fun. Uh, listen yep. carefully and and uh, also giving feedback to the, the ones who have been mm -hmm. making this effort which I think is really important. It's so great and gives such joy to give feedback and to get feedback when you have been uh, managing to make this work with the podcast, which is great fun, but it's also a work. Yeah. And there we could have it as an example, because that's often the question I get from potential podcasts. Could I earn money on it? Could I get sponsors? And I'm both the optimist and the objectivist and the realist uh, depending on what kind here in Sweden if you have a Swedish now Sweden is on the top five according to Libsyn statistics top five in consumption even if it's a small country uh, but it's often the celebrities the famous people but as I said again my mission is the indie podcasters that have a message big and small but for example this pen meets paper we got some sponsors from I have hold up this 
from one of the biggest brands in the world, a Japanese company. And because they liked uh, our content. And one, then it was a pen store online that liked our talking, like Karin is doing. We are not, a, we, we don't have a big audience, but we have a very, you know, dedicated audience. And, and my co-hosts, they are very active on Facebook and all kind of questions. Recently, we had a giveaway from uh, from a pen store, international pen store, with a pink pen. Uh, when oh. you wrote uh, uh, like a poem, uh, it was so fun. So that that uh, could make your day, and you could keep doing things like this to have fun and inspired and uh, so on. So I wanted to say that also. Thanks. What occurs to you, Dave, when you hear us speak from Sweden? March 2021. <laughs> what do you think? I, I love it. I think as Martin had talked about, there's so much statistics and data out there about podcast consumption, both both the, the three of us were talking about it beforehand, before we hit live here, and just the sort of this exponential growth that has occurred year after year. And, it, and it's a steady incline. And Martin, you're right. It's uh, you do have some of the big players, you know, the actors and those that are in, you know, uh, have famous followings. But the independent podcasters are the ones that continue to carry the podcast ship and continue to improve and increase the listeners. And you're right. And, and that's one thing we always tend to focus here on International Podcast Day as well is really highlighting those voices. They're the ones that are in the trenches. They're the ones doing all the work. Uh, of course, not to take anything away from what, what everyone else is doing. It's just when, when you look at the stats and the dating, you see that Sweden's in the top five and you look at the U.S. and then realize that like Turkey is growing in incredibly uh you know, with podcast listeners, but it's great. Sweden, it's, it's so much good um, tech startup out there and there's so much innovation out in Sweden as well. And it's just pretty incredible to see that year after year, I just learn and see and Swedish podcasters are more visible, you know, and it's kind of once, like Martin, I think you had tagged us on tw uh, Twitter once and I now I'm connected with five other Swedish based podcasters, you know, and so it's, you're, you're seeing it ramp up year after year, month after month. And I, I love to see that. And that's one reason I wanted to make sure we showcase individuals from Sweden is it's, it's, they're, they're making, they're making progress. Right. And, and it's, it's not just the podcasters, mm -hmm. but it's the audience and it's the listeners that are really yes. getting behind it and pushing it forward. And whatever the podcaster is doing, they're being inspirational. They're inspiring audience members to, to spread their message via word of mouth or sharing on social media. So I think it just goes hand in hand when, when you have an inspirational uh, podcaster, that means you're going to have inspirational listeners and it's just going to sort of have this uh, waterfall effect. And, and for that, it's, it's pretty incredible to follow. Wow. I simply say, wow. Great. And I love this waterfall effect. Wow. So important. And yeah, uh, very important. I, yeah, really important. And it's so amazing uh, with the different steps, different places helps the waterfall to whew, flow. That is true. There's a lot that goes into it. A lot of, uh, a lot of work mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, that's great. Well, before we head out of here, I want to give a chance um, for you guys, uh, specifically Martin, I think you and I had talked about, uh, just to wrap up the show here, that you guys were planning on a podcast conference called Pod Coast. Is that something that's still going to be happening yes. in 2021? We will see, depending on, you know, the situation. And this was, you know, one year ago now. And uh, uh, we were planning that with a podcast with uh, Per Olof, uh, Arnes, uh, Lena Götberg and others. And we were, and then we had to, you know, postpone it and uh, then to wait what's going on. So yeah, there you have it, uh, the podcast. So that's the plan. We will see. Depending, we started like an association for that, uh, and uh, we are happy to do something with it. And Karin was one of. Uh, <laughs> Ones where we're, we're planning to come to the conference, and also Karina yeah. Ridenius, my co host of the uh, presentation Skills in Plain English. And also, I inspired Bengt Andersson of how to say in Utan Skygglappar, without blinders. He's a horse 
you could almost say a fanatic in a positive way. Everything about horses. And you know, in America, one of the most popular podcasts are uh, horse, the horse show, but the whole TV media empire almost. almost. By a guy uh, that is doing all the show, and then it's his wife is the expert on horses, I think. And, and, but he started with that, and what horses could do with you, and the whole industry about horses. And he, he went then to one of the sponsors there, buying the equipment and the Zoom and all this thing due to the advice and was so and he started so uh, a shout out to bank there out he's been podcasting for one year now utan skygglappar without blinders uh, horse Woo-hoo. podcast so. <laughs> <laughs> yes really good <laughs> yeah that's really exciting i hope that it does come back in uh 2021 i think it'd be incredible there's that's the one thing i love to see is there's so many different nations and countries that have launched their own individual podcast conferences and mm-hmm. it takes a lot of work i know some yeah. individuals in uh portugal that are trying to launch you know sort of a, a podcast conference as well and you see them uh africa has it and there's just so many different ones that are that are out there and it's it's just pretty incredible to see uh, how far and i think that's a really that's that's a testament to what mm-hmm. uh, the the producers are doing the podcasters and also the, the audience is like there there's a demand for it and um it almost seems like podcasters are inspiring podcasters at this point and that's part of the issue or part of part of the beauty of it is getting everybody into a single conference or a single room and and having different sessions and being able to share that knowledge and i know i've attended a number of um a number of different uh, podcast events and it is it's quite inspirational to be a part of yeah it's uh, it's like a really human movement i would say where the best of us reaches out don't you think yeah yeah absolutely you 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 get to see the best of everybody in in a in a setting and i think that's pretty important and uh, i i really appreciate your your uh, view of the tech thing that you and your father are highlighting that the tech things out there because it's so much new coming up so uh, we need to learn about that so yeah, that's it's really, great. yeah it's really it's really important to to share those stories yeah Martin, yes. you were going to say something yeah like and uh, i could go on and go on but i think it's you should wrap it up yes. when you have that's the best but when i'm thinking about the show shout outs i saying a shout out to sack uh, D in Boston, in the United States of America, on Lyceum.fm. I had the Twitter handle Lyceum and handed it over to Zach. He reached out to me uh, some years ago and now on LinkedIn. And we started talking and they have uh, audio programs in academic and other things and also uh, podcast player and so on. And we got to know each other due to the fact that I have a Twitter handle that he was interested in. Lyceum, as you said, you talked about Socrates. Lyceum in, is Aristotle's school in Athens. So, and uh, and he is a, f- a fellow podcaster, great great guy, individual. So this is uh, neat. Um, we do conferences, we do international podcast day, and all, of course all the podcasts out there. And uh, and also, I recently joined the podcast academy as a member. So there there you have lots of inspiration also and uh, knowledge so it's lots of things going on that's incredible well i think we're going to wrap up this uh this podcaster showcase before we get out of here um go ahead and each of you share where yeah. people can go to hold of you where your websites are um, and i'll do a couple screen shares along the way to make sure our audience gets to see it thank you yeah uh, i can read should we Cody? write it in the chat no, we'll just go round table. We'll just have 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 uh, Corinne, uh, Corinne yes. go first. Uh, yeah. Yes, my my website is uh, uh, www. Yeah. Uh, you can see it for maybe CorinneCoach.se, and uh, I think I'm on Instagram like Corinne Coach, and on Twitter like Corinne Coach. It's very easy, and uh, my website is uh, uh, on its. Uh, it's I'm working on it. It's uh, restored right now, but it will be up really soon. Mm-hmm. And uh, different things is going on, really interesting things. So 
I hope we get in contact. I'm so thrilled if you have been watching us and want to get in contact with me or Martin. That would be really great. And I'm so thankful for this, Dave, really. It's been a real pleasure. So please, Martin, continue. Yeah, I, say, I have to say cheers to you, Dave. <laughs> and to your father, give my best regards. And thanks, Karin, for joining me here. I'm very glad about that. So my last website will be tparty.media. And Karin has coached me about this, but uh, I could see in front of me how good it will be uh, and how I could present my services. But the one that you show now is egonetcast.com, where I have a list about, about all the podcasts that I'm involved in, egonetcast.com forward slash about. And on Twitter, as I said, I had, uh, I, before it was Lyceum, Aristotle School, and now it's Lyceum Peripatos. And Peripatos is a, like a slang or nickname for walking around like Aristotle and his pupils and students were doing. So Lyceum Peripatos on Twitter and egonetcost.com on the website. And there you have my HAPS uh, account. So it, there it's Lyceum on HAPS. And also on Instagram, it's lyceum.peripatos. And you could also, as we talked about, search, do an ego search like my uh, podcast, ego, like I am, ego netcast. So do an ego search or ego search on yourself or do it on my name and you will find me in cyberspace. Otherwise, reach out to Dave. He knows where I am now. So, <laughs> yeah, I know so thanks again for connecting at. and reaching out to us. Yes. yes. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, absolutely. This this has been a, a great opportunity to showcase a, a lot of uh, talent that's coming out of out of Sweden here, and it, and it's incredible. I'm glad to have both of you on. You you both are doing so much in that space, and and you continue to uh, sort of push forward uh, podcasting in Sweden, and and not just for you know those that are behind the mic, but also those that are consuming all of the audio and all the media that you're consuming because that's that's the most important part is about creating something that's dynamic something that's inspirational for those that, that have the headphones on so um I, I think you both are agreeing with me on that one yes. it's, it's been it's been pretty incredible to have you both yep. on i really appreciate it thank you thanks yes. thank you thank very much. you thanks dave absolutely and i i wish you a wonderful Cheers. day wonderful day it's uh, afternoon here so amazing that we could speak through the big ocean yes it's it's yep. I, this is one of the beauties of of being connected so well with international podcasters is it's it's almost 5 p.m your time it's 9 a.m my time and yes. uh it's 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 fantastic to to be able to to partner mm -hmm. and become friends and get to know everybody uh so so dynamically on here so uh, wonderful. i think Yes, I think that's going to wrap up this month of Podcaster Showcase. Do want to thank Martin and Karen for joining me all the way from Sweden, for taking their time, their expertise, their knowledge, and sharing it with our community. And for that, I am really grateful. So uh, until next month, I want to thank everybody. Once again, I'm Dave Lee, co-founder of International Podcast Day. And we will be back next month with a couple podcasters from Poland and Serbia. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And that's going to be scheduled for April. Let me check the date here, April 24th. And so we're going to stay consistent with the last Saturday of every month. But uh, once again, Martin, Karen, uh, love you guys so much. I appreciate you coming on and, and joining. So thank you so much. Thank you.